Hi Virgo, welcome to your October 2018 reading. This is Lorianne, your psychic, here to give you all the messages for the month that come through me. Um, we're going to take a look at love, career, finance, uh, family, friends, any message that comes, I will relate to you. Keep in mind this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo, and this is a general reading, so only take from it what actually applies to your life and let the rest go. Check out your moon and rising sign. Oftentimes when you look at all three together, it will definitely give you a really good idea of what to expect in the near future, in the month of October, therefore. So let's take a look at what you have. Okay, some of you have been through a very difficult time. The Ten of Swords is about a very painful ending. Betrayal, stabbed in the back, really damaged, hurt, deep-rooted pain. And that can be on any level in life. And the good thing about the Ten of Swords, and I know good thing, right? It's going to drop off. So you're getting ready to let go of it. Either you just came out of it and you're going through that healing or letting all of it go and moving forward, or you're still holding on to it. We're going to find out through the reading. We have the two of swords being at a crossroad to make a decision, not knowing what to do in your life. Like you need more information. So this is about emotions, okay? And you can see the beautiful moon behind it. Something's missing, okay? Something is missing. So you don't have enough information to make a decision. Some of you are dealing with somebody who is uh, the energies of the emperor. This is a person who's very stoic. Now, they're very good at creating a, uh, a crew. They're good at running large groups of people and they're very very wise so they know exactly how to deal with people in the right way that's going to benefit a company some of you may have gone through this situation where you recently came out of or you're contemplating on making a decision to leave this company it looks like it's a very large corporation large corporation where this person isn't, uh, they aren't being too cool. They might actually be a little bit aloof. The King of Swords is a person who is a little bit cold and distant and aloof. They, they're highly intelligent. They also are very, very good at running a group of people. But these two energies combined, to me, the Emperor and this may be one person that you're dealing with where they're stoic, they aren't opening up, they're not sharing but they're also can be very arrogant, possibly even narcissistic. So they're giving you a lot of difficulty in your work environment. And the universe, you're trying to figure out whether you want to let this go or not. For some, you just ended it. For another group, you're debating, do I leave or do I stay? It's up to you, right? Now we have the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles is a person who's very confident, who has worked hard to get where they're at in their life. And we have a lot of messages that just spell out for you guys, so one sec, please. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, you're feeling really confident within you, even though you're dealing with a lot of difficult negative vibrations, negative energy around your work. You've built a world around you that you love. You love your home, your car. You do like your job very, very much, but this is not working out. Now, we do have the uh, Ace of Swords. So for those of you where you're in a work situation where this is taking place, there's betrayal going on, you're indecisive, and you have a contract, very important for you to look at that contract before you make your decision. That could be what you need to do in order to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? Because this contract could hold you liable even if you leave, meaning you may not be able to go back into that industry for two, three years, etc. depending on your contract. 
for those of you that are thinking about starting a new business and looking at a business partner um and we do have distance so this is in the in the in the uh a different location or there's a lot of travel going back and forth but if you came out of a a, a partnership before work working for a company or your own business working with a business partner you may have felt like there was some deceit some manipulation that was going on in the background um you have truth and clarity coming through in this situation for sure for those of you looking to start the new business the new company make sure that you have all your documents in order everything every t is crossed and every i is dotted very important because you're dealing with a very shrewd individual here this person like i said they could even be a narcissist okay so we do have the king of swords again so most definitely you're dealing with somebody although they're really intelligent they're very good at communicating there could be a little bit of emotional manipulation going on between the two of you. Um, so be careful when you're looking at that. Now, when we're looking at a person from the past, because this is a person from the past who wasn't um, open with you, they didn't share with you, the two of you may not have been on the same page for quite some time. It may have started off beautiful, but it didn't end that way. It ended in a way that was very very painful for you now you've rebuilt you you've rebuilt your life you've rebuilt yourself you're doing great absolutely great you finally have gotten your foot feet planted firmly on the ground build that world that you love you have the happy home happy life but this person is going to communicate with you and the reason i say that is we have the eight of wands this is messages of love coming in from a distance so you and they do not live close to each other a thousand to two thousand miles in distance between the two of you you're feeling worn out and exhausted by this person you finally gotten your feet back on the ground and they're coming back but they're coming back this time to actually tell you the truth to tell you what took place why they did what they did for some of you they don't even know they did it they didn't recognize that they did this to you or it wasn't intentional but it did come through that way and you're waiting to hear from them again you're you're waiting for some of you they're coming in and they do have an offer of love this is a beautiful offer of love where they actually feel that they're ready for a relationship and they would have been the person who didn't want the relationship this can go vice versa. It is a general reading. So if it is you that ran away and did the betrayal, it'd be you that's reaching out to this other person. But they do want a new beginning with you. This is a sincere apology coming in from them. And I do mean sincere. Absolutely. For another group of you, you've got a brand new person coming in. You have a wonderful person coming in that is going to have stimulating conversations and those long 2 a.m phone calls where you just talk and talk and then you look and say oh my gosh i gotta get up for work in two hours you know that kind of a situation very lovely energy this person is about all about starting a brand new beginning built with truth and clarity okay they are ready for a relationship they're open emotionally and that's exactly what they want is to move into a new relationship and they like you and i have a feeling you're gonna like them a lot too for another group of you you may be dealing with a, um, a mother and a father possibly a grandfather but this has to do with your family life and there may have been some um deception that took place in your family i'm almost seeing like some emotional manipulation um selling out that's what they just said selling out so maybe you felt like they sold you out for some reason or another but that's important words for some of you to hear but there is an opportunity to reconcile this and fix your families you're tired you're worn out and you're in a really good place 
you don't meaning you're tired of this situation because you are in a good place but it'll do you a lot of good stand up and speak your truth to this person or your parents whoever your family member is you can mend and fix this it's all about you standing up for what you believe in for another group of you you may be in a relationship right now where there could be possibly a third party situation the two of you are not living under the same roof right now you're living apart from each other trying to see if you can mend and heal this relationship because I'm getting that there was a third person involved. Um, you're debating if you want a divorce or not. So what they're showing me is the paperwork has already been filed. You're waiting for the finalization of it. So in some places you need to wait a certain length of time, six months, a year, depends on where you live. But a divorce was already filed, it was and you're feeling really good about you they're going to be contacting you they don't want a divorce they want to fix it they want to to the two of you to have a conversation and fix this relationship because they do love you and they want the happy home happy life with you they want to rebuild the foundation that the two of you have together uh they are going to communicate with you there's a lot of sadness a lot of sorrow in this relationship even though you're doing really well, I think there's a side of you that wants to fix this also. And the reason I say that is because we have the three of wands. This is waiting, communication, waiting for them to show up. So they may be traveling to see you or you, them. Doesn't matter how far you are apart from each other. For another group of you, you got yeah we're talking love here some of you definitely definitely are meeting more than one person and um it looks like you could be doing the online dating so the eight of wands is about online communication internet communication uh email telephone call but you're gonna meet this person i'm seeing it's online so you have three or four different people that you're going to date and one of them may actually be the person that you want to be your real partner in life and they could be the one for you well yeah absolutely for another group of you you have an opportunity that you may have been wanting to do for a long time where you want to write, you want to uh, get published, you want to be in the spotlight. Some of you, it's writing blogs. Some of you, it's working for a newspaper or, well, I don't even know if there's any newspaper places open anymore. A magazine is what they're saying, a magazine, not a newspaper. Um, but this is gonna be a beautiful move for you really good move for you it's going to make you feel very happy inside of you very filled with a, a lot of hope a lot of confidence when this offer comes through and it is going to come through around the sec the third week of october where the offer will be extended so if you haven't been putting your resume out please do so throw your resume out there out, 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 get it out there. Yeah, for another group of you, it looks like you may have ended a relationship, a relationship that was just overwhelming. It took too much of you, sucked your energy out, sucked you dry, so to speak. And you're moving forward and you're moving forward in a beautiful way. You do have a new person coming in for some of you, you do leading to a beautiful relationship if you choose and for another group of you i do see you wanting to own your own business again this could be in that realm when i was talking about writing blogs uh working for a magazine being um an independent contractor a consultant 
You're very wise. You have everything it takes to make this work. And the thing is, is you're feeling very, very confident right now. You believe in you. And that's what's going to make you succeed. And I do see success with this. So let's go ahead and pull your business career card. And after I'm done with this, I'll pull romance angel card for you. Now, if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you like me, you like my style, please click subscribe. And that keeps the channel up and going so that I can help a multitude of people. Okay. So we have win. I had learned from years of experience with men that when a man really desires a thing so deeply that he's willing to stake his entire future on a single turn of a wheel in order to get it, he is sure to win. You see very, oops, very beautiful words, very beautiful energy for those of you that that is applicable for, especially the last business scenario that I just spoke about. So let's take a look at your Romance Angel card and see what comes out for you guys. Also, for those of you who are interested, I have posted the October classes on my website, ascendingsoulsjourney.com. You can check those out. And for those of you who would like a personal reading, you can book that reading uh, on the same website. So let's see what they want you to know. There's actually two cards for you. The first one is this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. For some of you, this is a reconciliation, not just reconciling the differences between you of what took place in the past, but actually moving forward with that person like you've wiped the slate clean. There is no hate, there's no anger, there's no blame. Everything is resolved by the communication between the two of you, and this could be the one for you. Now, the second card that comes out is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level, level of commitment. So it could actually move into a permanent relationship, exclusive relationship, moving in together, making the promise that the two of you are going to be like this. And this is also a way of looking at the soulmate card. You got my back, I got your back. It doesn't matter what we see, we know from within that we are strong together and it can lead to a beautiful ending. So I do hope you have a wonderful October. Thank you for watching. Much love.